Hi everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the 2D animation section of the components. So let's get started. So I created an empty game object. We're just going to put it um, as sprite. Now we're going to add uh, this 2D animation component. We're going to add the sprite library. Right now it says it's experimental as well as the sprite resolver. As of uh, the 2020 version 0.1.3 F1F. So um, we're gonna add this to the animation. We're gonna click on Sprite Library. It's gonna add this component with the script and the script is gonna have a Sprite uh, Library asset. To create this Sprite Library asset, we're gonna go over here to our projects uh, settings. We're gonna right click. When we right click, uh, we're gonna go to create. Over here on create, we're gonna go down here to Sprite Library asset experimental. We'll click that and we'll name it whatever we want. We'll just name this one Sprite Library. Or so you could kind of see what the what I think at least they're kind of going with this is you could have like a character or characters Sprite Library. And then you could just have a list of uh, character. Oh, sorry about that. You could have different categories. So we could have, let's say, um, normal characters or NPCs, and you can have over here like superheroes, and then over here like animals, and so on and so forth, and then they got these category lists. For now, we're just gonna go to normal character, or we'll go to animals, because I have an animal sprite. So we'll go to cat character or category list, and we're just gonna go to two, so you can kinda see what is going on. We're gonna put character, or I got a wolf, so I'm up at wolf one, and then wolf two. Then we'll go to the sprites over here, and uh, we'll go to wolf. Oh, my dog's up. We'll go to wolf, and we'll click this wolf, and we'll click a running animation wolf. And then after that, we'll go back to the sprite, and we'll drag this sprite library asset into that Dropbox. Then we'll add uh, another component, and that's also gonna be in the 2D animation, and that's gonna be a sprite resolver. So the sprite resolver, what that does is you pick a category out of these three categories, and uh, as you can see right now, we only have animals, but I am guessing that if you have, let's say, one here, and we just I don't know, put this one as a superhero, label it as, Hero, go back. Now, as you can see, there's superheroes. So I can go to superheroes, animals, and then uh, as you can see, everything's working. So now, if we add a sprite renderer, even though it's not on the 2D animations section, we get this uh, sprite renderer and we could click it. And if we go to the scene, we could see it. There you go. So if some reason you can't see your game object, it's probably because the position is, the Z is on negative position. So either keep it on zero or one. I have a habit of putting on one, but uh, I'm pretty sure zero would be best. And then after that, you could actually change just by clicking these uh, actual labels, or you could go to the label over here and actually click it with this drop down menu go to superheroes so you can have all these different categories and all these different sprites in this library and then after that there is also um, the sprite renderer so let's say we don't have the sprite renderer we go to add component and we go to this 2d animation and we go to sprite skin now we get the sprite renderer automatically with the sprite skin now if we switch we still get all that now as you can see we got a list of bones right here. I'm gonna create the bones, but when you first started, or at least when I first uh, started using these components, I didn't have these bones. It was just like this. So I'm gonna kind of show you how to have a list of bones like this. So we, we we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to um, the actual sprite. I'm gonna kind of show you guys how to use the sprite um, animations the let me go to it to to the animation 
so you could use uh, skeletal animations so you just make sure you have that package installed if you want to use skeletal animations I'll show you what that is right now if you go to let me go again to the actual sprite go to sprite editor on sprite editor go to skinning editor and you'll get this so I'll show you how to do it real quick but if you want a more depth video just let me know so uh, edit bone we gotta actually select there you go edit bone or create bone sorry now you when you create a bone the best way is to start at the body and work your way down to of course the feet in this case I got an animal and it has feet and a tail so you just left click to make the bone and then once you're done uh, making your bone right click same thing just left click and once you're done right click and then uh, yeah just do that real quick uh, sometimes you'll have this situation where you just have to add one bone and you can't because when you right click it won't it'll undo so just click twice and then right click and you'll be all set and then same thing with the arms real quick now this character I downloaded off on the um, asset store and I'm pretty sure that this wasn't intended for skinning uh, for unity skinning um, tool so it might not move the way we would expect but once we have our bones we just hit auto generate and generate for selected and it will create these colors these colors are pretty much movements so as you see this yellow bone and then there's this yellow color the yellow bone where the yellow color is the yellow bone will affect the most so as you can see the there's no uh, yellow over here it's kind of a reddish so this red is going to affect this area over here same with down here and then you could edit the geometry so you could actually go down here and just you know um edit and you could also create a vertice so you could add one keep adding and then just editing real quick and yeah it's just so you could get more precise um movement so after that you know just auto generate generate for selected and then well once you create it actually you don't have to auto generate no more it actually generates for you so let's say i put it way over here and then i go to auto generate as you can see it already does it for you so once you're done and you um you like the way your image came out you could preview the pose and as you can see that's how my pose will move my image will move as you can see this image was kind of drawn together because like I said this wasn't the intent of the the creator of the image also when you do this the best thing is to have each part separated so each bone could have a separate body part but anyways uh, we'll hit apply so once we hit apply we'll go back to our sprite and we can see we have bones now all these bones you could actually if you go to the scene view, scene view you could actually click them and um, see where all these bones are located at and name them accordingly to what the bones are anyways um if we go to the final thing so now you see the sprite skin actually you can see there's a bunch of bones now there's some bones this to require so some bones i have to assign manually for some reason so there's six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so yeah that's messed up hold on let me go over here drag this bone in that is weird let's see bone one bone two bone three bone four five six seven yeah, I don't know what's going on on this one, but for this one, all I did was, okay, so all I did was I made the bones and I dragged bone one in, which is the root bone. And then when I created it, my uh, spine or my skeleton, all these bones automatically generated. So for this one, I'm not sure why it's not automatically generating. It's supposed to be 15 bones let me see i think it was this one see i got this one see i got the bones here got 15 bones 
Maybe I have to have the same amount of bones. I got 11. Maybe that's what's going on. So maybe you have to have the same amount of bones. Here, let me sh I want to leave you guys like that. So let me show you real quick with the, another one. Okay, now I got this. Okay, now I got this empty bone. Okay, so now I got this empty one. Let me show you real quick with this one. Hopefully it works. That way I don't look bad that I'm not showing you good, anything good. So we're gonna, again, create bone. Click this image. Just make it real quick. Let's create an image. Gotta kinda make sure we got 15 bones. All of that here. Let me count this. So that's one, two, three, four. One on the ear. Wait, hopefully 15. And auto geometry again. After that, we apply. After auto geometry, we should have our bones set. Let me set it. So we go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not matching. Hopefully it's gonna work. Didn't work. But you see, almost. As you can see, it's almost working. So I would have to make. Let's see. See if I can make two more bones. See if we can fix this, guys. Let's see, edit bone. Make another one over here. I don't think that's gonna work, but um, create a bone. What happened to that? Work. Now apply. Look at the sprite. Let's say we get all 15. But anyways, yeah, you're gonna have to kind of play with that. But this is what that does. So now with this sprite skin component, we are actually able to uh, animate it through game. So like, let's say I wanted to animate his tail through game real quick. Like, um, let's see real quick, just show you. I'm gonna create an animation real quick. I will create it. So a good thing to do is actually have a folder for your animation. So we'll go to tutorial, make a new folder all the animations we'll open that folder and we'll just put wolf tail wag uh, oops so make sure you save your animations inside your assets folder so once your animations is in your assets folder save it and i think i saved it in yeah i saved it inside my assets but what i was supposed to do is save it in here okay so now what I could do, get the wolf uh, with the wolf selected. Must have created it somewhere else. So we'll just create it here. Yes, replace it. Now we'll hit preview at like, let's say 30 seconds. Wolf. So this is bone 10. So the way you could do it, if it keeps doing that, just click. Uh, sh so just click uh, record, add property, go to bone, and then just look for bone 10 and transform. And either position, rotation, anything you want. So we'll go to rotation. I think that's what we need. That's the position that we need. So transform to 10. So now, maybe that's why it's experimental. But yeah, this would be good. So you could just, you know, wag your tail real quick. Maybe if I lock it. Maybe if I lock this one. This one move. Why isn't this one moving? All right, I found the problem now. Let me go back. We're gonna add this animation. So this would be good, as I was saying, if, if you wanna do an animation. So let's say at 30 seconds, you move the tail down this way. At a minute, you move it back up this way. And now, as you can see, when I hit play, and I scale in, you can see the tail just wagging back and forth. Of course, you would fix all that, uh, and you would fix all that uh, through the through the what's it called the sprite skinner so you would just go over here and you would uh, go to sprite editor uh, just skinning editor edit geometry you could either edit ge the geometry which probably would be the best so if you click here edit all this stuff right here real quick you could add a point just to somewhere and you know you could just keep adding and adding 
I'm adjusting edit right here, something like that. Let me stop right here before I keep getting ahead of myself. But yeah, and you could just uh, apply it. And if you see that I mess up, just go back to just change this. Now, uh, still pulling. If it's still pulling, just you know keep messing with it. Um, another thing you could do, try doing is um, going to the skinning editor, go to um, where is it? Uh, auto weights. And like I said, the colors right here. So I just go to let's say over here, weight slider. You could adjust it. Let's say which one's kind of messing with it. So this blue, we just got to slide it less. Uh, don't mind me though. Uh, right here, you could actually, but yeah, just play around with it. You could subtract it right there. You could play with it right there. Just as you can see, it's a little better. But yeah, that's that for the 2D animation uh, section. Later on, we're going to be talking about these, the rest of them, the AR, audio effects, events, all of these. So if you like these videos, or if this helped you, please uh, hit the like button. If uh, you're liking these videos so far, hit the subscribe button. If you want to hear when I post a video, hit that notification button. Uh, and thank you once again.